Fructose, Wikipedia Audio Fructose, or fruit sugar, is a simple ketonic monosaccharide found in many plants, where it is often bonded to glucose to form the disaccharide, sucrose. It is one of the three dietary monosaccharides, along with glucose and galactose, that are absorbed directly into blood during digestion. Fructose was discovered by French chemist Augustin Pierre de Brunfaut in 1847. The name fructose was coined in 1857 by the English chemist, William Allen Miller. Pure, dry fructose is a sweet, white, odorless, crystalline solid, and is the most water-soluble of all the sugars. Fructose is found in honey, tree and vine fruits, flowers, berries, and most root vegetables. Commercially, fructose is derived from sugar cane, sugar beets and maize. Crystalline fructose is the monosaccharide, dried, ground, and of high purity. High fructose corn syrup is a mixture of glucose and fructose as monosaccharides. Sucrose is a compound with one molecule of glucose covalently linked to one molecule of fructose. All forms of fructose, including fruits and juices, are commonly added to foods and drinks for palatability and taste enhancement, and for browning of some foods, such as baked goods. About 240,000 tons of crystalline fructose are produced annually. As for any sugar, excessive consumption of fructose may contribute to insulin resistance, obesity, elevated LDL cholesterol and triglycerides, leading to metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. The European Food Safety Authority stated that fructose is preferable over sucrose and glucose in sugar-sweetened foods and beverages because of its lower effect on postprandial blood sugar levels, and also noted that high intakes of fructose may lead to metabolic complications such as dyslipidemia, insulin resistance, and increased visceral adiposity. Further, the UK's Scientific Advisory Committee on Nutrition in 2015 disputed the claims of fructose causing metabolic disorders, stating that there is insufficient evidence to demonstrate that fructose intake leads to adverse health outcomes independent of any effects related to its presence as a component of total and free sugars. Etymology the word fructose was coined in 1857 from the Latin for fructus and the generic chemical suffix for sugars, os. It is also called fruit sugar and levulus. Fructose is a 6-carbon polyhydroxyketone. Crystalline fructose adopts a cyclic six-membered structure owing to the stability of its hemiketal and internal hydrogen bonding. This form is formally called D-fructopyranose. In solution, fructose exists as an equilibrium mixture of 70% fructopyranose and about 22% fructofuranose, as well as small amounts of three other forms, including the acyclic structure. Fructose may be anaerobically fermented by yeast or bacteria. Yeast enzymes convert sugar to ethanol and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide released during fermentation will remain dissolved in water, where it will reach equilibrium with carbonic acid, unless the fermentation chamber is left open to the air. The dissolved carbon dioxide and carbonic acid produce the carbonation in bottled fermented beverages. Fructose undergoes the Maillard reaction non-enzymatic browning, with amino acids. Because fructose exists to a greater extent in the open chain form than does glucose, the initial stages of the Maillard reaction occur more rapidly than with glucose. Therefore, fructose has potential to contribute to changes in food palatability, 
as well as other nutritional effects, such as excessive browning, volume and tenderness reduction during cake preparation, and formation of mutagenic compounds. Fructose readily dehydrates to give hydroxymethyl furfural. This process, in the future, may become part of a low-cost, carbon-neutral system to produce replacements for petrol and diesel from plants. The primary reason that fructose is used commercially in foods and beverages, besides its low cost, is its high relative sweetness. It is the sweetest of all naturally occurring carbohydrates. The relative sweetness of fructose has been reported in the range of 1.2-1.8 times that of sucrose. However, it is the six-membered ring form of fructose that is sweeter, the five-membered ring form tastes about the same as usual table sugar. Warming fructose leads to formation of the five-membered ring form. Therefore, the relative sweetness decreases with increasing temperature. However it has been observed that the absolute sweetness of fructose is identical at 5 degrees Celsius as 50 degrees Celsius and thus the relative sweetness to sucrose is not due to a nomeric distribution but a decrease in the absolute sweetness of sucrose at lower temperatures. The sweetness of fructose is perceived earlier than that of sucrose or glucose and the taste sensation reaches a peak and diminishes more quickly than that of sucrose. Fructose can also enhance other flavors in the system. Fructose exhibits a sweetness synergy effect when used in combination with other sweeteners. The relative sweetness of fructose blended with sucrose, aspartame, or saccharin is perceived to be greater than the sweetness calculated from individual components. Fructose has higher solubility than other sugars as well as other sugar alcohols. Fructose is, therefore, difficult to crystallize from an aqueous solution. Sugar mixes containing fructose, such as candies, are softer than those containing other sugars because of the greater solubility of fructose. Chemical Properties Fructose is quicker to absorb moisture and slower to release it to the environment than sucrose, glucose, or other nutritive sweeteners. Fructose is an excellent humectant and retains moisture for a long period of time even at low relative humidity. Therefore, fructose can contribute a more palatable texture, and longer shelf life to the food products in which it is used. Fructose has a greater effect on freezing point depression than disaccharides or oligosaccharides, which may protect the integrity of cell walls of fruit by reducing ice crystal formation. However, this characteristic may be undesirable in serve or hard frozen dairy desserts. Fructose increases starch viscosity more rapidly and achieves a higher final viscosity than sucrose because fructose lowers the temperature required during gelatinizing of starch, causing a greater final viscosity. Although some artificial sweeteners are not suitable for home baking, many traditional recipes use fructose. Natural sources of fructose include fruits, vegetables, and honey. Fructose is often further concentrated from these sources. The highest dietary sources of fructose, besides pure crystalline fructose, are foods containing table sugar, high fructose corn syrup, agave nectar, honey, molasses, maple syrup, fruit, and fruit juices as these have the highest percentages of fructose per serving compared to other common foods and ingredients. Fructose exists in foods either as a free monosaccharide or bound to glucose as sucrose, a disaccharide. Fructose, glucose, and sucrose may all be present in a food, however, different foods will have varying levels of each of these three sugars. The sugar contents of common fruits and vegetables are presented in Table 1. In general, in foods that contain free fructose, 
the ratio of fructose to glucose is approximately 1 colon 1, that is, foods with fructose usually contain about an equal amount of free glucose. A value that is above 1 indicates a higher proportion of fructose to glucose, and below 1 a lower proportion. Some fruits have larger proportions of fructose to glucose compared to others. For example, apples and pears contain more than twice as much free fructose as glucose, while for apricots the proportion is less than half as much fructose as glucose. Apple and pear juices are of particular interest to pediatricians because the high concentrations of free fructose in these juices can cause diarrhea in children. The cells that line children's small intestines have less affinity for fructose absorption than for glucose and sucrose. Unabsorbed fructose creates higher osmolarity in the small intestine, which draws water into the gastrointestinal tract resulting in osmotic diarrhea. This phenomenon is discussed in greater detail in the health effects section. Reactions Fructose and fermentation Table 1 also shows the amount of sucrose found in common fruits and vegetables. Sugarcane and sugar beet have a high concentration of sucrose and are used for commercial preparation of pure sucrose. Extracted cane or beet juice is clarified, removing impurities, and concentrated by removing excess water. The end product is 99.9% .9 pure sucrose. Sucrose-containing sugars include common table white granulated sugar and powdered sugar, as well as brown sugar. Fructose and Maillard Reaction Dehydration Physical and Functional Properties Sweetness of Fructose Fructose Solubility and Crystallization All data with a unit of G are based on 100 grams of a food item. The fructose-slash-glucose ratio is calculated by dividing the sum of free fructose plus half sucrose by the sum of free glucose plus half sucrose. Fructose is also found in the manufactured sweetener, high fructose corn syrup, which is produced by treating corn syrup with enzymes, converting glucose into fructose. The common designations for fructose content HFCS 42 and HFCS 55, indicate the percentage of fructose present in HFCS. HFCS 55 is commonly used as a sweetener for soft drinks, whereas HFCS 42 is used to sweeten processed foods, breakfast cereals, bakery foods, and some soft drinks. Data obtained from Kretschmer, N. And Hollenbeck, C.B. Sugars and Sweeteners, Boca Raton, F.L., C.R.C. Press, Inc. for HFCS, and USDA for Fruits and Vegetables and the Other Refined Sugars. Fructose Hygroscopicity and Humectancy Cane and beet sugars have been used as the major sweetener in food manufacturing for centuries. However, with the development of HFCS, a significant shift occurred in the type of sweetener consumption in certain countries, particularly the United States. Contrary to the popular belief, however, with the increase of HFCS consumption, the total fructose intake relative to the total glucose intake has not dramatically changed. Granulated sugar is 99.9% .9 pure sucrose, which means that it has equal ratio of fructose to glucose. The most commonly used forms of HFCS, HFCS 42, and HFCS 55, have a roughly equal ratio of fructose to glucose, with minor differences. HFCS has simply replaced sucrose as a sweetener. Therefore, despite the changes in the sweetener consumption, 
the ratio of glucose to fructose intake has remained relatively constant. Providing 368 kilocalories per 100 grams of dry powder, fructose has 95% the caloric value of sucrose by weight. Fructose powder is 100% carbohydrates and supplies no nutrients in significant content. Fructose exists in foods either as a monosaccharide or as a unit of a disaccharide. Free fructose is absorbed directly by the intestine. When fructose is consumed in the form of sucrose, it is digested and then absorbed as free fructose. As sucrose comes into contact with the membrane of the small intestine, the enzyme sucrase catalyzes the cleavage of sucrose to yield one glucose unit and one fructose unit, which are then each absorbed. After absorption, it enters the hepatic portal vein and is directed toward the liver. The mechanism of fructose absorption in the small intestine is not completely understood. Some evidence suggests active transport, because fructose uptake has been shown to occur against a concentration gradient. However, the majority of research supports the claim that fructose absorption occurs on the mucosal membrane via facilitated transport involving GLUT5 transport proteins. Since the concentration of fructose is higher in the lumen, fructose is able to flow down a concentration gradient into the enterocytes, assisted by transport proteins. Fructose may be transported out of the enterocyte across the basolateral membrane by either GLUT2 or GLUT5, although the GLUT2 transporter has a greater capacity for transporting fructose, and, therefore, the majority of fructose is transported out of the enterocyte through GLUT2. The absorption capacity for fructose in monosaccharide form ranges from less than 5 grams to 50 grams and adapts with changes in dietary fructose intake. Studies show the greatest absorption rate occurs when glucose and fructose are administered in equal quantities. When fructose is ingested as part of the disaccharide sucrose, Absorption capacity is much higher because fructose exists in a 1 colon 1 ratio with glucose. It appears that the GLUT5 transfer rate may be saturated at low levels, and absorption is increased through joint absorption with glucose. One proposed mechanism for this phenomenon is a glucose-dependent co-transport of fructose. In addition, Fructose transfer activity increases with dietary fructose intake. The presence of fructose in the lumen causes increased mRNA transcription of GLUT5, leading to increased transport proteins. High fructose diets increase transport proteins within three days of intake. Several studies have measured the intestinal absorption of fructose using the hydrogen breath test. These studies indicate that fructose is not completely absorbed in the small intestine. When fructose is not absorbed in the small intestine, it is transported into the large intestine, where it is fermented by the colonic flora. Hydrogen is produced during the fermentation process and dissolves into the blood of the portal vein. This hydrogen is transported to the lungs where it is exchanged across the lungs and is measurable by the hydrogen breath test. The colonic flora also produces carbon dioxide, short-chain fatty acids, organic acids, and trace gases in the presence of unabsorbed fructose. The presence of gases and organic acids in the large intestine causes gastrointestinal symptoms such as bloating, diarrhea, flatulence, and gastrointestinal pain exercise immediately after consumption can exacerbate these symptoms by decreasing transit time in the small intestine, resulting in a greater amount of fructose emptied into the large intestine. All three dietary monosaccharides are transported into the liver by the GLUT2 transporter. 
Fructose and galactose are phosphorylated in the liver by fructokinase and galactokinase. By contrast, glucose tends to pass through the liver and can be metabolized anywhere in the body. Uptake of fructose by the liver is not regulated by insulin. However, insulin is capable of increasing the abundance and functional activity of GLUT5 in skeletal muscle cells. Freezing point The initial catabolism of fructose is sometimes referred to as fructolysis, in analogy with glycolysis, the catabolism of glucose. In fructolysis, the enzyme fructokinase initially produces fructose 1-phosphate, which is split by aldolase B to produce the triose's dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde. Unlike glycolysis, in fructolysis the triose glyceraldehyde lacks a phosphate group. A third enzyme, triokinase, is therefore required to phosphorylate glyceraldehyde, producing glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. The resulting trioses are identical to those obtained in glycolysis and can enter the gluconeogenic pathway for glucose or glycogen synthesis or be further catabolized through the lower glycolytic pathway to pyruvate. The first step in the metabolism of fructose is the phosphorylation of fructose to fructose 1-phosphate by fructokinase, thus trapping fructose for metabolism in the liver. Fructose 1-phosphate then undergoes hydrolysis by aldolase B to form DHAP and glyceraldehydes, DHAP can either be isomerized to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate by triose phosphate isomerase or undergo reduction to glycerol 3-phosphate by glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. The glyceraldehyde produced may also be converted to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate by glyceraldehyde kinase or further converted to glycerol 3-phosphate by glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. The metabolism of fructose at this point yields intermediates in the gluconeogenic pathway leading to glycogen synthesis as well as fatty acid and triglyceride synthesis. Fructose and starch functionality in food systems The resultant glyceraldehyde formed by aldolase B then undergoes phosphorylation to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Increased concentrations of DHAP and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate in the liver drive the gluconeogenic pathway toward glucose and subsequent glycogen synthesis. It appears that fructose is a better substrate for glycogen synthesis than glucose and that glycogen replenishment takes precedence over triglyceride formation. Once liver glycogen is replenished, the intermediates of fructose metabolism are primarily directed toward triglyceride synthesis. Carbons from dietary fructose are found in both the free fatty acid and glycerol moieties of plasma triglycerides. High fructose consumption can lead to excess pyruvate production, causing a buildup of Krebs cycle intermediates. Accumulated citrate can be transported from the mitochondria into the cytosol of hepatocytes, converted to acetyl-CoA by citrate lyase and directed toward fatty acid synthesis. In addition, DHAP can be converted to glycerol 3-phosphate, providing the glycerol backbone for the triglyceride molecule. Triglycerides are incorporated into very low-density lipoproteins which are released from the liver destined toward peripheral tissues for storage in both fat and muscle cells. Food Sources Carbohydrate Content of Commercial Sweeteners Nutritional Information In a meta-analysis of clinical trials with controlled feeding where test subjects were fed a fixed amount of energy rather than being allowed to choose the amount they ate fructose was not an independent factor for weight gain, however, fructose consumption was associated with weight gain when the fructose provided excess calories. 
An expert panel of the European Food Safety Authority concluded that fructose is preferred in food and beverage manufacturing to replace sucrose and glucose due to the lower effect of fructose on blood glucose levels following a meal. However, as a common sweetening agent for foods and beverages, fructose has been associated with increased risk of obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disorders that are part of metabolic syndrome. Clinical research has provided no OR only limited direct evidence that fructose itself is associated with elevated LDL cholesterol and triglycerides leading to metabolic syndrome but rather indicates that excessive consumption of sugar-sweetened foods and beverages, and the concurrent increase in calorie intake, underlies metabolic syndrome. Similarly, increased consumption of sweetened foods and beverages raises risk of cardiovascular disease, including hypertension, but there is no direct cause and effect relationship in humans showing that fructose is the causative factor. Fructose is often recommended for diabetics because it does not trigger the production of insulin by pancreatic beta cells, probably because beta cells have low levels of GLUT5. For a 50 gram reference amount, fructose has a glycemic index of 23, compared with 100 for glucose and 60 for sucrose. Fructose is also 73% sweeter than sucrose at room temperature, allowing diabetics to use less of it per serving. Fructose consumed before a meal may reduce the glycemic response of the meal. Fructose sweetened food and beverage products cause less of a rise in blood glucose levels than do those manufactured with sucrose or glucose. Fructose digestion and absorption in humans. Capacity and rate of absorption Malabsorption Fructose metabolism Fructolysis Metabolism of fructose to DHAP and glyceraldehyde Synthesis of glycogen from DHAP and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate Synthesis of triglyceride from DHAP and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate Potential health effects Weight gain Cardiometabolic diseases Compared with sucrose